All right, so Halloween's rapidly approaching, and last year I used this 8-man LC350 projector and some pumpkins to actually project some animated graphics onto the pumpkins and do some really cool 3D effects. But this year, what I wanted to do is step that up a little bit and do some floating sort of hologram projections. And last year I purchased this fabric in order to do so, and in order to get these holographic projections to work, you want to use some very sheer material like this tool fabric here. And it comes in these giant rolls from your craft store, or since I'm a nerd, I bought mine on Amazon. And if you also are a nerd and don't want to go into stores, I'll put a link there to the one I used. But as you can see here, if you hang this properly and kind of keep that taut without being fully wrinkled, it gets pretty transparent especially when you turn off the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the projector now. And right now loaded on the USB stick, I have the graphics that I used from last year, but I was actually just using these to project onto a wall. So this is like a full moon with some cats and other creatures on it, which looked pretty cool, but it's not perfect for like a hologram, but it will probably look pretty good on the tool fabric here just as a test. And I'm gonna look for some sort of like a floating ghost kind of creepy stuff. So lights are off here. Let me go over to the projector and try and navigate the menu system. So down here, just need to go into video and C drive of the projector, go over one to find the video and select it. So that should start loading now. And so this is the backside and you'll immediately notice what we're suffering from is that the back wall is picking up the backscatter of the image. So wherever you angle this, you wanna make sure that the background does not pick up the projected image so that this just looks like it's floating in air and the illusion's not ruined by a back wall or something like that. So the illusion's always gonna look better from the side opposite of the projector so that you're not getting so much shine coming through. So this side looks kind of crappy. And if you look over here, it looks much better, especially if I pull the tool fabric to get out the wrinkles. So here's our friendly owl. And from here's from another angle. And if you use your imagination a little bit and pretend that I built out a frame or something to pull this taut and kind of hide things away, if you had trick-or-treaters coming by, that'd be pretty cool if this was like a ghost or something floating in the air. So my idea is that as I add on to this, I'll try and add more videos to my YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to follow my progression if you're interested. If you've had success with this already, please let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your tips and suggestions. I think next I'm gonna try and build some sort of frame to keep the fabric taut and figure out kind of a good angle in my yard to hide all this. So again, you don't see the back scatter and also try and find a really cool uh, animation. So again, thanks for watching and happy Halloween.